Hello, welcome back to our channel. You can see Rex is kind of here with me, but facing the other way. Um, and yeah, I got fully ready today, so I wanted to do a video. And I haven't done a pet video since last month, so I still need to do one for this month. And I picked like a, a really random kind of video. It's from 2016. It was called the Furry Friend Tag. Um, two people that I love as YouTubers, Megan Lee, who used to be Chow Bella XO, and um, Gabby DiMartino did this tag in 2016. Um, yeah, I haven't been subscribed to Gabby DiMartino for like since 2016 um, but I have been subscribed to Chow Bella since like way before 2016 so I just saw that um, she had done it previously and I decided I wanted to do it because my channel name is literally my name with my dog's name and I thought it was kind of cute and I also couldn't think of like a video to do so I saw it and I thought it was a good idea um, I wrote down the questions here, so I guess it's just like a tag, so no one technically tagged me, but if you would like to do this tag, you can say I tagged you, that's totally fine, and yeah, so there's a couple questions, some I kept out because I thought, one, they were either like super weird, or two, they just didn't make sense, or... I didn't really know how to answer them so I just kept a couple plus I don't want this video to be like crazy long okay so the first question is what is your pet's name the answer is Rex obviously hence Tony and Rex um, what kind of pet do you have and what breed so Rex is a dog and he is a German Shepherd Rottweiler cross we think we are not 100% sure but we think um he was like a rescue so we don't really know i guess we could do a dna test but how he looks is a german shepherd and a rottweiler cross and a lot of his like characteristics are between those two dogs so that's just what we say um where did you get him so we got him from um an ad on kijiji there was <clears throat> excuse me there was a there was an ad for puppies and we went and looked at him and there's a bunch of puppies uh so we picked up one he snuggled in no we picked up one kind of put him down picked up another it was rex he snuggled in and chose him we paid 120 dollars for him and i guess this truck driver got um something happened to the mom of these puppies so this truck driver picked up the puppies and brought them to like where I live or and brought them to Saskatoon and then um, they sold them and they sold them for $120 and the reason that they sold them and didn't get them to the SPCA is because apparently like the SPCA was full or something so and they only did $120 so that they know that it would go to like a decently good home. Um, yeah, so that's like the story of how we got them. What are the nicknames you call your pet? So I call Rex, Rex, Rexin. Um, my sister made a nickname when we first got him, Rexington. Uh, he also gets called Bubs. I call him Babe, um, Big Butt, Big Head, Handsome. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's more about that. I'm sure there's more, but that's what I got. Uh, a quirky thing that your pet does. So Rex will hoard like blankets and pillows. If you actually look behind me, there's like a stash. There's like a pillow, two, three pillows and a blanket. And he just hoards them. Um, and he'll like put his mouth on him and just, ooh, I'm bleeding. And he'll like put his mouth on it and just uh, breathe. <laughs> We call it sucking on a blanket. And it's just like a cute little thing that he does. How long have you had him? So we've had Rex for, he's five. Um, so like five and a half years. Does your pet know any tricks? 
Rex knows how to come, sit, lay down, shake a paw, other paw, <laughs> see, uh, speak. What else do you know? Kisses. Yeah, he knows several, I'd say. Uh, your pet's favorite toy. He likes, um, like little balls. So he has, I even crocheted him a little one here. Um, yeah, his favorite toys are balls. And has he destroyed anything? He actually doesn't destroy anything. He destroyed one thing when I was, when we first got him. Or no, not when we first got him, when he was like, because when we first got him, he was only like two weeks old. He was still formula fed and stuff. But when we had him for a while, he destroyed my um, curling wand cord. I was really sick and I'm assuming, like I was just sleeping all day. I had strep, so I was just sleeping all day. And uh, I think he just got bored, so he was just chewing on it. Well, that's the one and only thing he's ever destroyed. He's never destroyed anything else. Like just that I mean so I guess sometimes like he'll get too rough with toys but he's not like other dogs that like destroy their toys he just sometimes gets rough with it and some of the stuffing like the seam will break or something but yeah he's not like a super destructive dog um his favorite treat he loves puppuccinos um he likes cheeseburgers with no onions he likes chicken strips from Dairy Queen. Uh, and then like actual dog treats are like the Purina, what are they called? Dental, dentist sticks. Um, and then my homemade dog treats, which is peanut butter and coconut oil. And there's like a video on it. I have two videos on it. One is Valentine's Day and one is, um, Halloween so I'll link that below and you can click it and see the recipe and can he swim yes he can he loves to swim he's been swimming for as long as I can remember ever since he was like old enough to get in the water he's been a water dog he loves water but well, um when we went to get our photo shoot done for our engagement like our engagement photo shoot he could tell there was water like he could smell it and our photographer was like oh no like he won't see it there it's fine it's fine we'll go this way and he literally could smell it took off went in the water <laughs> he loves water he has been kayaking um he's been to the lake the river he has a life jacket um yeah he's a good swimmer he loves to swim do you crate him no we don't crate him he is when he was a puppy um, my mom was off, so I was able to drop him off and then go to work and then pick him up on my way home. But when he got a little bit older, we crate trained him while well, we tried to, um, and I would go home at lunch every single day. But I didn't, I didn't love the crate training because he's stuck in a crate. Like, you can't be a guard dog when you're stuck in a crate. And... Yeah, but I do know that dogs are cave animals, so they like to have some place where they can go in and they feel protected. So I think I like crate train him for like a week, maybe two. And then what I would do is put him in the crate, like get him to go in the crate and then leave the door open. And when I come home, he'd be out of the crate. So I was like, oh, okay, I don't think he likes the crate. And then, yeah, so I think only last year, Two years ago I don't know he had a crate for a very long time but now he just has like a little toddler bed <laughs> which he can go in um, and then he has this chair which is specifically his chair uh, so yeah I guess we kind of did but he's we don't put him in the crate anymore we don't even have a crate now um, where does your pet sleep so Rex sleeps on his bed like I said he has a toddler bed um, sometimes he'll sleep on our bed like for naps but not typically and then he likes to sleep under our bed um, like by our heads so like under under the bed by our heads um, specifically like on freedom side and do you dress your pet um 
yeah, he has like two pairs of pajamas, but I've got one specifically for pictures and then I got one for camping when it was like cold and, but he has a lot of bandanas, like he's a bandana guy. Last year, <clears throat> I would, he had a matching bandana to every outfit that I had for work. So I would get dressed and then I'd get him dressed. But I should do that again because he hasn't worn a bandana in a while. But yeah, he does get dressed. And those were all the questions that I wrote down. Like I said, if you want to do this tag, you can. Um, it is from 2016. I just thought it was cute. You kind of get to know my pet. And I will see you in the next video. If you would like to see, excuse me, if you would like to see more from me and Rex, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you liked this video, like it. And like I said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Rexon. Say bye.